Should we really reward terrorists with statehood? The Palestinians failed just about every measure normally applied for national recognition. By recognizing a Palestinian state now, in the wake of the brutal and savage Palestinian attacks on the 7th of October, Western countries are sending a clear message that when all else fails, terrorism and violence should be rewarded. The Irish, Spanish and Norwegian recognition of a state for Palestinians stands against everything the West stands for, and it comes just 234 days after one of the most deadly attacks for British citizens in recent years. It's an insult to Britain, never mind to Israelis, Jews or Palestinians themselves. That savage, animalistic attack involving rape, torture, child abuse, elder abuse, kidnap, enslavement, murder and terrorism emanates from the very people aspiring to statehood. There are still British hostages in Gaza held by the governing body there, Hamas, which Britain rightly classifies as a terrorist organisation. I'm insulted by this decision as a Briton. Ireland, Spain and Norway are meant to stand against terrorism. They're meant to be pro-democracy and pro-peace, but their recognition of statehood of Palestinians is precisely a response to that would-be state carrying out the most vicious and egregious assault on a Western ally, a British ally, an ally of America, the Jewish state of Israel. Britons should be against this. Americans should be against this. All Western peace-loving nations and people should be against this. The Palestinian Arabs don't measure up in any way for statehood. There are certain things that countries look for when considering would-be states for recognition, relating to the viability of the prospective state in practical terms. For example, its permanent population. It's existing in a defined territory over which there's an effective government operating independently from external control. But of course the Palestinians don't have any of those. They've got no agreed borders, with sizable parts of their population, leadership and government actively planning to eradicate Israel totally. That's a mainstream Palestinian idea. They have no defined population. The millions of so-called refugees they want to flood Israel with, even if they have their own state, proves that. The UN has perpetuated that idea, with generations of people who are already settled in other countries considered to be Palestinian refugees, and the Palestinian Authority has decided that those refugees have the right of return to Israel, even if they have their own state. So the population issue isn't particularly settled. And we all know that Iran calls the shots over Hamas and the Gaza Strip, which means that Gaza and its government certainly are not independent or free to do as they wish. Even the supposedly moderate Palestinian Authority is corrupt and has a president who's 19 years into what was meant to be a four-year term. There are no signs of elections round the corner and Hamas would probably win those anyway. So this is recognition of a state which is most likely to have a government run by terrorists. Just what the world needs. In short, this is recognition of what would almost certainly be a terror state committed to the eradication of a valued Western ally, controlled by Iran, which the West is currently fighting through its proxy in Yemen in the Red Sea, and which meets none of the normal requirements for statehood. Great idea.